a ketchup bottle that dispenses ketchup out of the nostril of a of a cap shaped like a head of the character Eleven from Stranger Things. What? <laughs> to another episode of Redditainment and it is time for an episode of Strange Saturdays. Could be strange funny, could be strange weird, could be strange scary. Every Saturday we'll dive into a different type of strange that we find on Reddit. I'm glad you could join, follow along and we'll have some fun. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for a fun way to explore Reddit. Today we are exploring the subreddit strangest products. First one up is this weird Heinz ketchup bottle, a limited edition Stranger Things. This head I believe is supposed to represent Eleven from the Stranger Things series on Netflix. When I first saw it, it honestly did not resemble Eleven a lot. Looks like a dude. Um, I guess it's a little close with the hair, the short haircut, and the classic nosebleed. <laughs> with ketchup coming out of her nostril. Uh, kind of interesting, I did some digging. I think this is just a Photoshop. I don't believe this product actually exists for purchase. Not as far as I could find anyways, but if you find it online, <laughs> feel free to share the link down below. Let's see what else we got in here. This suction cup dog tug of war thing. All right, not so much strange as it is genius, although I am questioning how strong is that suction cup. My goodness, it sticks to the floor. I kind of have my doubts that it would stay on the floor if my dog was tugging on it. But hey, this looks like an awesome toy that could entertain your pet for quite a while. If you're busy or you're doing chores or something else in the house, you could just plop this down on the floor and have them have the time of their life. Life. Not very strange. I have seen these before. Very cool product though. Always wanted to get one of those for my dog. All right, what is this? Slide your fingers in. Big articulated fingers. I mean, okay, interesting. Yeah, this would be funny if you have some oversized gloves to put over so they can't see your actual fingers. The way they all move is really cool. I guess this would be a really cool Halloween product if you're dressing up as a skeleton or something. Nice. So this looks like an actual product you can buy. Current wait time on all orders is seven months. Okay, so don't expect to get this anytime soon if you order something from here. GaryFayCreations.com. Interesting, they have this whole website. Okay, so this whole website is dedicated to just these fingers. Different colors, different styles. Interesting. Well, if you want one, you know where to get it. Let's go back. For when you can't reach that one itchy spot on your back. Exactly. <laughs> or washing your back in the shower. Funeral kazoo. Comforting sound. Drowns out sobs and wails. Better than bagpipes. Sorry for your loss. I'm not sure if this is funny or just very cruel. Somebody has some dark humor here. Google Slides. I guess that's a Microsoft Office product, isn't it? Or a Google product, Google Slides. Not exactly sure what it is. I don't think I've ever used Google Slides for anything. Maybe it's like PowerPoint, but that's kind of a fun play on words, Google Slides. That's awesome. People are not sure if they're real, but that would be kind of cool, especially if you know somebody that works at Google. This would be a nice, uh, a fun gift. Girls, can we just get dresses with pockets, please? Guys calf mules, cargo socks. Okay. There is an image of a woman on the side of the box. They won't give us skirts with pockets because we have these awesome socks with pockets. Not sure how much of a fashion statement these socks are. <laughs> they look awful. Flop slots. They've got flop slots for your flip flops. I mean, you're going to look hideous in these, but knock yourself out if these are real. This ferrofluid clock. Just looking at it, it looks super cool. Let's see if it's real. This episode should be called, Is It Real or Not? Because a lot of these are gonna be photoshopped or just fake products that don't actually exist. But this one looks really cool, I want this. And of course, we find it on none other than thisiswhyimbroke.com. I've heard about this site before. Apparently it's got a bunch of crazy products. Like this clock, hey. It's only $12,000 Canadian right now, so looks like it's been around for a couple of years. Really not a whole lot of information on it. Doesn't really have any product pictures other than this cool looking video that shows how it works, which we've seen before. But hey, if you got an extra $12,000 laying around that you don't know what to do with, you can buy this awesome clock, I guess. Got a bunch of other barrel fluid, lava lamp, sphere that are not as expensive. Okay, I can get lost on this site alone. Let's go back. 
Kirby desk fan. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's all I'm gonna say. Moving on. Strange Bob. Looks like SpongeBob is chilling on a few tabs of acid and who knows what else, but this looks trippy. I mean, this would be a really cool poster to hang up in a man cave or game room, I guess. That's actually pretty cool. Internal house bird feeder with two-way mirror. This bird feeder brings birds into your house, has one-way mirror so the birds can't see you watching them. That is pretty cool. It's like an interrogation room for birds. But hey, that is awesome. Can you imagine you have this in your house just sticking out of your wall and there's birds that regularly just fly in there and feed on the bird seeds. That would be pretty cool. I would totally buy this. Can you buy this? Let's see. Eh, I guess there's some variations of it on Amazon but doesn't really look quite as cool as the original picture. Moving on. Huh, that's awesome. Everything is a lighter. That is really cool. Somebody got really creative with uh, lighter designs there. But hey, that's awesome. I would totally buy these. If they came in a set of like 12 all different styles, that would be an awesome gift too. You know, a heavy smoker or something. <laughs> or a candle enthusiast. A massive on-off touch switch lamp. I love it. And I'm pretty sure that's a real product. It looks very real. Her. Dress to impress, please. Me. Showing my nips. <laughs> Dress to impress the whole decade. Oh, it's the eyes of uh, Pepe the Frog. Okay, now I've seen everything. Micro form box, vacuum forming machine. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. It creates molds for, I guess, anything like packaging. That is very neat. I mean, that's pretty awesome if you're a company shipping products. This could probably come in really handy for packaging. The beanbag onesie. This is something that looks cool, but is probably so impractical and so annoying to carry around when you're walking. Just get a beanbag and a onesie separately so when you get up it doesn't stick to your behind. Oh my gosh, super soft fleece, junk in the trunk. Yeah, there's definitely junk in that trunk. Dehydrated water, just add water. What is this, an empty can? This has got to be a joke. Strange but amazing, I've seen these. I've always wondered, the images they use to sell these products look so amazing. Does it actually look like this when you set it up in your room? If anybody has one of these, please let me know in the comments. Because if it actually looks this awesome, I'm really considering getting one for myself. Because it's kind of cool. You can now buy festive lights for beards this Christmas. Yeah, no. Dude, you got something in your beard. Oh no, they're festive lights. Oh, okay. Foot themed shoes. This is very strange and not something I would ever want to wear. <laughs> nope. Finally, a hand sanitizer that addresses our real concerns. Maybe you touched your genitals, hand sanitizer. Oh, fun spin on sanitizers. Croc gloves. Nope, 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 nope. Please don't make this a real thing. And by the way, they're so useless. What are they for? Can you even bend your hand in it? It doesn't seem flexible at all. It looks like just straight up plastic around your hands. A pizza sleeping bag. Again, looks cool, probably totally useless and not practical at all. The smallest bicycle in the world. Okay then. I'm, whoa, I'm surprised it holds a, an entire person and does not break into a million pieces. That's crazy. Gaff gun. It tapes wires to the ground, cords. Actually, that is really cool if you are in charge of setting up a venue for an event or you work with audio video equipment on the daily. I guess that's the only time you would really need this. Sick on carpet, looks like. I mean, that's pretty cool, but for the average Joe, little overkill. I mean, when are you ever gonna need this? Forget real estate. I'm guessing it's supposed to say real estate. You can't afford it anyway. Millennials Monopoly. I've seen this before. Yeah, real estate. You can't afford it anyway. <laughs> okay, what do you buy then? Nothing. I, th I have a feeling this is a real game though. <laughs> Hot Wheels Australian Edition. They're on the other side of the world. They're upside down. Get it? Five different sizes. For shaving, really? You're gonna have a cookie cutter beard? <laughs> this seems dumb. Just shave, just wing it. Phone case with actual working emulator with 36 games. I have it, it works great. Honestly, this would be awesome for somebody that loves the old Nintendo games, like my girlfriend. That would be an awesome gift idea, actually. She would love this, maybe not. Maybe it's too tacky, I don't know. What do you think? Get it? Don't get it. We'll find out. We'll do some research. I could actually get down with these. So your fingers don't get all the 
Cheeto dust on there. Eh, but then you can't lick the Cheeto dust off your fingers. So what's the point? Where's the fun? And you have to clean these too, so nah. You'll probably end up using these once and then never again. No, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. It's disgusting and disturbing. <laughs> Why? This is cool. It's a climbing wall with a game of... Whatever that game is called. Uh, it's at the tip of my tongue. Can't think of it. This looks really fun. I would totally play this. I love this. Racing simulator. Hey, this is just a few bucks up from that clock we saw before. 18,000 US dollars. Three screen HD virtual reality driving car racing games. Looks like an awesome simulator, but who's got the coin for this? That's insane. Another galaxy projector. Again, people, does it look this amazing? I mean, are the lights in the room still on and it still looks this great? Wouldn't it be way too bright in the room? Hidden shoes. Not sure if anyone else posted this, but I just saw out of my Facebook feed and had to put it here. I mean, if you want to give off the impression that you're running barefoot all the time, sure, I guess that's for you. All right, let's do one or two more and then call it a day for today. Care for a slice of bread? Again, why? No, this looks awful. Why in the world would somebody buy this? Why in the world would somebody make this? This is horrible. The last one here. The laptop selfie stick. I thought it couldn't get any more useless than this, but hey, dude, buy a cell phone and then buy a cell phone selfie stick. Works a lot better. You're gonna drop your laptop, buddy. All right, this wraps it up for today. Hope you had some fun exploring Reddit with me. If you're new here, subscribe. We have a different topic every day of the week where we explore different sections of Reddit, different topics. If you subscribe to this channel and leave a comment below, I will personally respond to your comment. Hope you all had fun, and I'll see you in the next video.